Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to assign properties to members in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler using STAD Pro Connect Edition. In this particular video, we're going to be focusing on inverting the longitudinal axis for your physical members in the physical modeler. Now, all of these members belong to the Steel Girder 3 group. So let's go ahead and highlight that group hit on the select button, and then they will be turned highlighted. I'm going to close out of this dialog at this point, And what I'd like to do is get a good idea of where the local axis is pointing for each of the currently selected members. To do that, I can go to the view tab in the ribbon toolbar and ask to see the local axis. Now what I'm specifically looking at is the direction of the local x-axis. This is the longitudinal axis for each of the physical members. Now what we're going to notice is that the local x-axis is pointing to the right for all of the members except for one of them. Now why is this important? Now eventually I may want to go ahead and assign some additional properties to the members, things like member offsets or member end fixity, which typically would be assigned to the starting and ending end of a member separately. Now if all of these girders that are currently selected have the same properties, this might cause a little confusion or some extra steps for me later to make sure that I assign those specifications to the proper end of the member. So for me, it would be most convenient for all of these to be pointing in the same direction. So the local X axis is always going to be pointing from the starting end of the member to the ending end of the member. So for this girder, for example, the starting end of the member would be on the right hand side, while the starting end of all the other members would be on the left hand side of the members. So let's go ahead and switch it for this particular member. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and select the member that I want to modify. For this one, it would be this girder. Now, what we're going to notice is that in STAD Pro Connect Edition, in the physical modeler, some additional tabs or tools will become available depending upon what it is you have selected. These tools can be used to edit or assign information to the current selection. So let's go ahead and select the member tab in the ribbon toolbar. And then we're going to take a look at this icon here. This is the exchange connectivity map icon. What this will do is it'll switch the starting and ending end of the member. It will also change the orientation of the local Z axis, but your local Y axis will still be pointing in the same direction that it currently is. So let's go ahead and click exchange connectivity. And we're going to see that the local Z axis has been reoriented to reflect the changes in the longitudinal or local X axis. If we want to make sure that all of them are now pointing in the same direction, we can select that group again, again, the steel girder three group. Now, as we take a look at all of these girders, they all look the same. They're all pointing in the same direction. So in a subsequent step, if I assign a property to the starting and ending end of the member, uh, I can go ahead and assign it to all five of these members instead of doing something different for one of the members. At this point, this concludes my process for taking a look at that local X axis for any of your members within the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.